Right now, investigators are tracking a major new clue after this raging fire in Cambridge. And they now confirm arson may have caused the fire. The eye opener is Todd Keskevich with the one piece of evidence that may hold the key here. Todd? Emily, Randy, good morning. That new clue apparently is surveillance video, possibly from the green garage you see there behind me. It reportedly captured a large number of people outside around the time this fire started. The building on Alston Street had been vacant and had no electricity. As fast as the flames spread early Sunday morning, so did suspicions about the cause of the fire. Now, the fire chief confirms this fire is indeed suspicious. It started at the rear of the building and quickly went to nine alarms, forcing the evacuation of 40 people who live in two houses on either side of the burning building. Cliff Anderson rescued his son, then went back in for his cousin. Uh, when I came out, the house was already on fire, all three stories. The building that started was next door to us. And before the fire department got here, it spread it to our building, and all three floors on our building went off. Thankfully, everyone made it out safely. But even before the evacuation, investigators say a large number of people were lingering outside. That number of people surprised investigators, given the hour, 3.30 on a Sunday morning. Now, as investigators work to determine a cause, 40 people who live in the surrounding buildings are temporarily homeless. As we take another live look at the boarded up building, the burned out building, you can see the close proximity between the, the, the building where the fire started here, number 159, and the building next door, and another building on the back side of this. You can understand how that fire spread so quickly and so easily. Again, the good news is no injuries. Everyone made it out safely. Live in Cambridge this morning, Todd Keskevich, WCVB News Center 5.